The Scottish Secretary David Mundell is under pressure to drop Carillion's millionaire boss who is still working as a government business advisor. The £750,000 a year CEO Keith Cochran is still part of a network of elite business leaders who charge £300 a meeting for the part-time role. Anger over his continued employment in the role comes as ministers admit they don't know how much the outsourced giant's collapse will cost the taxpayer. Liz Truss, the chief secretary to the Treasury, said it would be completely wrong to speculate on the cost, but said it would be a significant amount of money. The SNP MP Tommy Shepard said, it is utterly disgraceful that at a time when thousands of Carillion employees don't even know whether they will have a job to go to each morning, the Scotland office and David Mundell keep in place Keith Cochran as an advisor, despite his role in the shoddy and shambolic running of Carillion. Speaking to the Herald he added, Whilst contractors and workers face increased uncertainty, interim chief executive Cochrane as well as others at the very top of the company will continue to pocket his £750,000 salary until July. His role as an advisor to the Scotland office is untenable and a failure by David Mundell to remove him from his post would be a glaring insult to workers and taxpayers. Mr Cochrane, who became interim chief executive of Carillion last July, was appointed to the Scotland office role in December 2015 when he was the boss of engineering firm Weir Group. A government spokesperson said the Scotland office has no contracts with Carillion and has had no role in any decision-making in relation to other public sector contracts. Mr Cochran continues in his role with the Scotland office. The debate over his role comes days after it emerged Philip Green, former chairman of Carillion, advised David Cameron on corporate responsibility for five years. She said, at the moment we don't have a full estimate we heard about the collapse last week, we've been working to make sure public services keep going, that's of course our most important priority. There's a lot of investigatory work to do in terms of what the directors knew and when they knew it, but also making sure that we can move those contracts on either to organizations within the public sector or to other private sector organizations. Ms Truss was later challenged on whether she was being economical with the truth about the cost of the collapse to taxpayers She then said, there's a difference between the cost that the administrator finds and what the impact will be on public spending and public services What I'm talking about is the cost to the taxpayer which there will be but we don't know until we find out exactly which bits will be run by other parts of the private sector, which bits will be run by the individual government department where we can find savings and efficiencies which I am constantly looking for, 